guess what today is new bike monday let's get this thing put together all right today is new bike monday so i ordered a marin mount vision 8. Uh, this is a bike that i've kind of been eyeing for the last year or so uh, finally got an opportunity to pick one up so i'm gonna unbox it put it together and uh See what it's like. I'm kind of excited. Let's try it out. All right. There it is. So I ordered the size medium. Yeah, it looks like it's mostly assembled. I might just have to put the stem and maybe the dropper post on it. Then we'll check it out and see how she rides. I do like how Marin packaged this. So they have these nice little Velcro straps and some mini cell foam that they put to kind of protect the bike where it might rub. Probably even repurpose that for something else. I'm gonna do a tubeless conversion on this. There we go. And then I'm gonna take out the tube, and I like to just roll these up so that I can use them as in case I get a flat out on the trail. And then we've got this little plastic strip in here that I'm going to pull out. Nylon or something. I've got some good old Gorilla Tape that works really good. So there's, I don't know, three or four inches of bubble wrap right there. That should be plenty. And then I like to just go around and make sure this is stuck really well to the rim. Put some exact measurements in there. Usually it's, I don't know, between a fourth of a cup and half a cup or something like that. So whatever looks good. Usually the first attempt with an air compressor, I can get this to seat pretty well. We'll see how we do. All right, that was pretty good. So I just blocked that with my finger, grabbed my valve stem. Let's 
glue that back in. And then just kind of rotate that fluid around both sides really well. So I just got done rafting on the Snake River with some uh, former neighbors and old friends of mine and ended up getting back to Pinedale a little earlier than I expected. So I thought, hey, I've got some time. I'm going to fit in a little bit of a bike ride. Um, so I'm headed out to the Mesa, uh, just kind of south of Pinedale. Uh, some nice trails out here. I'm going to do um, a little bit of a review of the Marin Mount Vision 8. I just picked that up the other day. I've only had it out on one ride, so I'll try to get some good footage today and maybe just share some of my thoughts as I ride it, kind of how it compares to some of the other bikes I've ridden. Um, and, you know, hopefully I have a good ride. Pretty warm. It's about, well, warm for Pinedale. It's like 77 degrees right now. Nice blue skies, should be a good ride. So the Mountain Vision 8 uh, from Marin has a pretty unique suspension system, rear suspension system. Their claim is that it doesn't require a lockout or anything and that you're supposed to get uh, similar performance of a hardtail for your climbs and whatnot, but then have the you know bomber performance of a nice downhill bike with the full suspension. So we'll try that out. Starting right here with this big hill. There's a nice little climb. I'm doing a trail called Rim Shot. Uh, one of my favorites. It's a good combination of climbs and downhills. Oh, this first one's a beast, though. Woo! And just when you thought that was good, still got some more climbing ahead of me. Houses are always tough. I didn't make it. Dang it. So close. Whew. Ooh, the nice thing is when you get on top, just a gorgeous view of Pinedale and the Wind River mountain range. Tell you what, the video does not do it justice for how beautiful it is up here. All right, so I'm at the top of this hill and we start off right here with a pretty good little downhill. It's kind of rocky, cobbly through there. Um, kind of winds back over there and then we make our way up there. There's like a place where they're harvesting fuel, oil, gas, I guess, from the ground here in Pinedale. And then after that, it drops down this other side and you kind of follow the rim for a little bit, come out over here someplace. So, starts off with a bang. Nice climb up the hill to a nice downhill.
system. I think they call it a React 2 play. Um, they're claiming that it's supposed to kind of hug the ground so you can maintain some good traction as you ride, especially on some of those bumpier areas. Um, true or not, I don't know. I think there is a little bit of a difference. I do feel something different. Can't really quite explain it. Um, I'm not quite sure I have the whole suspension system dialed in exactly yet. Or, you know, it's my second time riding it. I could probably play around with the rebound. I did uh, pump the shocks up to the pressure recommended, you know, on the front fork and the one that Marin rec recommends on their website. So, but I might play around with that a little bit to see if that changes things for me at all. You could toy around with the tire pressure. I don't know, I'm, I'm not a, sure I'm a big fan of these tires. Uh, they're a little bulky for me, like pretty square. I'm used to a more rounded tire. Yeah, maybe it's something I just need to get used to. down rim shot uh, like I said one of my favorite rides good mixture of climbs and downhills uh, so overall enjoyed that bike um, it was interesting coming down that gravel road I was coming down pretty fast and it isn't as smooth as it's been on other days but it sure did feel smooth on that bike like that was surprising didn't notice a huge difference on some of the other areas but definitely on that gravel road like I felt like like it wasn't even a gravel road it just felt really smooth so that was interesting can't really explain it uh, maybe it does have something to do with that suspension system um, I, again I didn't really like the tires um, I don't know just too square for me maybe they're not the right kind of tire for this area maybe they'd be better on like more of a clay or a loam type trail. Uh, the the bike comes with a WTB Volt seat. Um, so far it's been pretty comfortable. I haven't been super impressed with the stock seats that have come with my other Marin bikes. Uh, they're usually just the Marin brand seat. And then I also didn't really like the Von Traeger seat that came with my Farley 5 either. It wasn't very comfortable. I switched it out for a Cro-Mag, which was a way better seat. Uh, but this Volt isn't bad. I would, I'd say it's not as good as my Cro-Mag as far as comfort goes, but it's better than the other stock seats that came on my other bikes. So I'll test this bike out on a few more trails and uh, kind of give it an overall review after that.